Nikki with her singing ass. Let's get to the show. Hey y'all, it's your girl Q, and today I'm making some crispy, golden, cheesy potato and broccoli thangies. <laughs> yes, thangies. Okay, so I've taken some broccoli, and y'all see I'm breaking it down in the bowl that I had before. Um, that was some sweet potatoes and some golden potatoes. I like to call a thing exactly what it is. And those are not yams. Those are actually sweet potatoes, which sweet potatoes are still delicious, still packed full of vitamin A, no, no big deal. But one thing I am gonna do, because I do want to know what actual yams taste like, you know what I'm saying? I wanna know what that's like. So I'm gonna go to an international store, you know what I'm saying, go to the African, go to the Asian store, find me some yams, shell. But anywho, um, I have taken this broccoli and I steamed it in my pot with some garlic, some black pepper, um, some garlic, some black pepper, and some onion that I cut up. And I'm going to go ahead and put this into my blender and I'm going to mince this down. I'm not going to liquefy it or anything like that, but I want to chop it down um, to small bits. And the reason why is so that it's going to be a lot easier to incorporate it with the potatoes and the cheesy thangies, okay? <laughs> ah, that word, that, um, the name of it is so funny to me because I didn't want to call them nuggets. I didn't want to call them bites. I wanted to call them something totally different. And the things were thangies, so they thangies. <laughs> and y'all gonna see what I'm talking about as we get a little further into the recipe. This is something just totally delicious, so full of flavor, and they're fun. They were actually fun to make and fun to eat. There's a, um, quite a few steps to this process, but it is so worth it. And this recipe yields so many of them that I was able to cook some and then fry some later. So now we're gonna do the potato part of our um, of our things. And so we're gonna go ahead and season them up. Y'all see some Land O'Lakes butter already sitting in there. We have some fresh black pepper. Y'all know how I feel about fresh black pepper. Some garlic powder, some turmeric, some paprika. Hey, paprika, what up, girl? Some Italian, well, some parsley for color. And then we're gonna mash them all up. We're gonna mash these potatoes up. Yes. And I really love these thingies because it really got my children to eat sweet potatoes. Like the only way that they'll actually do sweet potatoes is if they're really, really sweet and I didn't want them to get into the habit of that. So, um, and now y'all saw that I also added in some sour cream. And now we're adding in our broccoli yes and then we're going to mix that all together but this is not all that's going to go into this because we want these to really taste delicious so i'm going to add in a little bit of chicken bouillon i didn't add any salt in any of this um except for the breading and you'll see um what i'm talking about a little later on i added a little bit of seasoning salt to the panko that i'm going to be using um we added in an egg and that's gonna give these a nice leavening as well as binding. We're gonna add in some Parmesan cheese. Yes, sir. Let's get the let's get the cheesiness and the flavor going early. We're gonna go ahead and throw in some Parmesan cheese. We're gonna throw in some Italian breadcrumb and panko that's mixed together. Um, I had wound up mixing a batch of regular breadcrumb with the Italian panko that I had and that's what we're using right now inside the filling. We're also going to put in copious amounts of Mexican shredded Mexican blend shredded cheese. Yes, and it's and it's frozen, which is good because as you saw the um, potatoes were still very much so piping hot and what I wanted to do was kind of slow down the heat um, you know because I don't want the cheese to all ultimately get melted you know what I'm saying so I added in frozen cheese to aid in that not happening okay so now we have a bowl of water which I didn't even wind up using um, I was going to try to you know use that in order to help myself to be able to shape out the uh, the thangies, but the thangies, like I said, they was thangin', they was thangin', man. So I was able to put them, you know, into shape and put them on the cookie sheet. And then after 
I um, patted them all out into their uh, respectful shapes. I put them all in the freezer and I allowed them to freeze overnight because this was pretty late at night um, when I was finishing this up. And I had also did a beautiful video for a banana pudding pie and that will be coming out pretty soon too. Right now I'm trying to go ahead and um, get all of the things shaped up and ready to go into the freezer. Yes. And I mean, these are so packed full of flavor and very delicious. My kids really enjoyed them. And I don't think they even tripped off the fact that it was sweet potatoes in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's the beautiful, that's another beautiful way of getting my children to eat different vegetables and stuff like that. I was gonna add zucchini to these, but I didn't have any, so I chose to go with the sweet potato to add with the potato and the um, broccoli. And to be honest, it's reminiscent of like, have you guys ever had like a potato and cheese and broccoli soup kind of thing? But the texture on the outside is super crispy and on the inside is really pillowy and fluffy and just delicious. You know what I'm saying? These things was really bomb. And I'm making so many of them, as you can see. And I said, next time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them smaller. Next time I'm going to make them smaller, it's going to make a lot more of them. And it's going to be a lot easier to um, maneuver and fry them a little later on. And y'all will see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, next time I'm going to make them a lot smaller. And that's going to be pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Because I was able to get a lot of them at the size that they are now. And I can just imagine, um, you know, doubling or tripling the amount of the things. <laughs> the things. Um, doubling or tripling the amount of them. You know what I'm saying? By making them a little bit smaller. I did my best to get them as uniform as possible. Um, and voila. We're going to go ahead and put them in the freezer. And those set overnight. So the next time y'all see me, it's going to be the next day. All right. So now it is the next day and we're ready to fry these babies. But first we're going to bread them and then we're going to sit them in the freezer for just a few seconds so that the bread can set. And y'all know I'm normally doing a shake up method or I'm putting everything in one bowl. But this time I had to do a proper dredge station because I wanted these to turn out the way that they needed to. This is not chicken or something like that. So it's not going to apply and stick the same way. Um, these are actual things. So I had to get the things to thang it. In the flour, I put some paprika. I put some um, black pepper, some garlic powder. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it. In the breadcrumb, however, I put a little bit of seasoning salt. I put some garlic. I put some black pepper and some um, Parmesan cheese and some parsley. In the egg, there is egg, water, and sriracha. That's it. So, um, as you can see, we're doing a double dip. We're taking the thing, and now I'm just finishing up this one. See how beautiful that's coated? Yes. So, we take the thing, dip it in the egg, boom. Get the excess off, put in that flour with the other hand. And that allowed me to be able to utilize my gloves for quite a while. I didn't get the Hulk fingers. <laughs> then we're gonna go back in the egg and then in the panko. You see how that went? Beautiful, I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs> excuse me y'all, excuse me. I'm gonna do it one more time. And I served these with a really delicious sriracha ketchup. Very delicious, very beautiful. A nice, beautiful, spicy kick. These were delicious and they stood very much so on their own. They were beautiful on their own, um, but the sriracha ketchup was just a beautiful, extremely delicious and delightful compliment. And I will be making these again. I made so many of them. There's still some that's um, breaded and frozen in the freezer as we speak. And my kids just enjoyed the hell out of them. So now they're all breaded. Look at how beautiful that is. They are all breaded. Um, and as you can see in the end part, some of them kind of got a little wonky with the shape. That's because they started to thaw. So I had to put them back in the freezer. Um, and now that these have been frozen for a while, it's time to fry and the oil is ready. Let's get a little ASMR for y'all.
intense cooking sounds. They are so relaxing, y'all. So relaxing. But as you can see, the things are getting beautiful and crispy and golden on the outside. That inside is just cooking lovely. And as you notice, they're going to puff up some as they get closer and closer to the end of cooking. You see what I'm saying? They're going to get um, very much so fluffier, which is really cool. And I'm going to show y'all what one of them looks like um, after these are done cooking. Yes, <laughs> you know, that's one of my favorite parts of the whole process is, you know what I'm saying, trying them. Um, and as you can see, one of them started to kind of pop open and some of the filling came out. That does happen, um, but normally that happens because they're not being turned enough. You know what I'm saying? If they're being turned um, quickly enough, then, you know, there's not going to be spillage. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to be a little mindful of that. But yes, look at that. Also, these could have went in the freezer for a little bit longer. So the ones that kind of um, popped open were still... Um, kind of thawed these are these work very much so better when you fry them frozen like if you fry them completely frozen now look at this look at how crispy on the outside that is look at how delicious and fluffy that is on the inside um some of that uh sweet potato still holds its integrity so you're getting actual potato you know what i'm saying this is not um beyond processed food this is just really beautiful veggie things and the things is thinging and they taste so amazing these are so delicious y'all um i mean whew. and so i'm taking my sifter out and i'm collecting any of the insides that you know spilled out into the grease um you know what i'm saying trying to keep the oil as clean as possible you know get any of the um you know maybe some of the coating that may have gotten out and now let's look at the plate up look at these these are so fun and i also did some of them in the air fryer so these were some of the air fryer things which came out deliciously crispy um the only the only thing that i really just have as a pause with the air fry versus the actual fried um is the air fryer ones look so ashy like you know what i'm saying i don't know it's just how it look child but they were both very delicious um so if you can get past the aesthetic part air frying these are an, uh, are very delicious and healthy choice all i did was spray a little bit of grapeseed oil on them and pop them right into the air fryer and they cooked up beautifully they really did and now look at the ones from the fry fryer <laughs> deliciousness tender on the inside fluffy savory with the cheese and then it has little hints of sweet with that sweet potato i mean this was fabulous these were fantastic <laughs> for real for real these were just amazing and delicious and fantastic like i really enjoy eating these and my kids did too y'all today i want to talk about getting proper rest <laughs> okay get your proper rest it is okay to put your foot down during the summer because i know a lot of the times parents is like you know the kids they want to stay up all times of the night and all this type of shit it's okay to put that foot down and say baby no you gotta go to bed at a decent time you know what i'm saying you're not taking away their fun you are securing your own sanity and that's something that I'm speaking of from personal <laughs> experience, y'all. So what happens is, is the kids' sleep schedule gets thrown off. They sleeping all day, up all night, all in the goddamn cabinets, in the refrigerator, they everywhere, all over the place. And then by 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm getting woke up by loud ass cartoons and this, that, and the third. Now I'm not complaining, I love my children. But that is what happens when sleep schedules get thrown off. You understand what I'm saying? So right now, I'm in the processes of regulating everyone's sleep schedule. And that's been, you know, it's been. <laughs> it's been a journey, child. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're in the midst of doing. And it's okay. It is perfectly okay to get your rest. 
Child, because if you don't get some sleep, your body is going to tell you when it's time to get some sleep. Like earlier today, this video is coming out a little late. This is all happening in real time, y'all. So this video is going to be a little late today, but it's still coming out. But that's because I took a nap, or rather, a nap took me. <laughs> I was sitting down editing the video chair and then I woke up and it was eight o'clock do you feel me but we move we press forward we push forward and this video will be out today like I'm not playing any games my work ethic is not to be played with um, I really get these these recipes out to you guys because I know you know what I'm saying if you actually try them you will really like them and they're really delightful and I know some people don't cook they just watch me because you know what I'm saying of the conversation and stuff like that and I love y'all too hell she hey booze you know what I'm saying I love y'all too period you know what I'm saying it's not all about one thing it's a mixture of things and if you can um find friendship and relatability with somebody that is what's up and I really enjoy y'all comments when y'all talk to me I appreciate that you know what I'm saying that's kind and that's just us being there for each other you know how that makes me feel y'all y'all already know amazing Absolutely amazing. Period. And I'm going to get some sleep tonight, damn it. <laughs> Alright y'all, thanks for coming through once again and back with your girl Q. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like this art, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button so you can subscribe to your girl and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the freshness coming from the fresh squad. God. Thank you for coming through, you know it's your girl Q.